Today we're pouring epoxy in a box full of water balloons. This was a fun experiment that resulted in a functional piece of furniture. I started by cutting some melamine using a straight edge guide and my circular saw. I'm basically making a melamine box about 14 by 14 by 20 inches tall, but I want one side of it to be plexiglass so that I can see how the balloons are stacking and how the epoxy is settling. The plexiglass was a little too floppy on its own since it was only 1 8 of an inch thick, so I also cut a plywood frame to reinforce it. I pre-drilled holes and used my Craig corner clamps to hold the melamine in place while I drove in finished screws. Highly recommend the Craig clamps and cutting guides. They just make simple projects like this that much easier and faster. I peeled off the protective lining and then glued the plexiglass to the plywood frame. I screwed on this window side and then placed this four-sided box on a melamine base and then started sealing up the edges with hot glue. I find that hot glue is sufficient for attaching the base of molds like this and it's easier than driving in screws perfectly. I sealed up the insides of the mold with silicone. Epoxy can definitely stick to melamine, so I sprayed the inside of the box with mold release. This project is going to result in a side table and I'm casting it upside down. So I mixed up some Total Boat Thick Set Fathom and poured about half an inch in the bottom of the mold. This first layer will serve as the tabletop and I let it cure a full five days before starting to fill up the water balloons. I used a chopstick to double bag the balloons just for a little bit extra insurance and then filled them to different degrees. I anticipated that removing the balloon knots would be the tricky part, so after I tied them, I trimmed the ends. I sprayed the balloons with mold release so that the latex wouldn't stick to the epoxy. And then I started placing the balloons very gently into the bottom of the mold. I just need the balloons to go higher than the level of each pour of epoxy. I'm really glad I double bagged the balloons. One of them popped when I stacked the balloons too high. I mixed up some more Total Boat Thick Set Fathom and poured a nice thick 8 inch layer. Now typically you only want to pour Thick Set Fathom in about 2 to 3 inch layers since the heat buildup in the epoxy can cause it to go exothermic. But I'm using the room temperature water balloons as a heat sink so I can be more aggressive with my pores. As the epoxy was curing I checked with my laser thermometer and the highest temperature change that I saw was only about 13 to 14 degrees which is nowhere close to melting the latex. The water balloons will float in epoxy so I wanted to pile the balloons higher than the epoxy levels. I let the epoxy fully cure and then decided to pop the first two balloons by drilling through the plexiglass. Obviously not that much water is going to drain out, but it was good to see that the latex wasn't stuck to the epoxy. I popped the balloons on top and started to get a sense of how the inside of the form was going to look. All right, so far so good. Let's remove the screws, cut away the glue and silicone, and pry off these panels. The balloons came out of the cavities real easily and I was even able to just pull out most of the balloon knots. The mold release was great for removing the side panels, but some of the mold release did ooze down and get in between the layers of epoxy, so one of the little corners broke off as I removed the melamine. Alright, let's pop some more balloons and I'm using my Jimmy Duresta ice pick, which I feel is perfect for this job. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you some slow motion of these pops. As I popped the balloons, I could see how these interior voids were all connected, which makes sense because the balloons were stacked on top of each other. So when I popped the top balloons, the water would cascade down through these inner chasms. Definitely looks really cool as it is, but I have some ideas about using the inner cavities. And I also want to remove the remaining balloon knots. 
So I got out my Ryobi rotary tool. This is a really handy project for finishing things like this and for reaching into tight spaces. I use it to carve out the holes on the side. You see the epoxy is just really thin here and it's a little bit sharp. So I just used a grinding tool to cut it away until the walls were about an eighth to a quarter of an inch thick. This was also a handy tool for just carving out some of the balloon knots that were fully embedded. There was only one knot that I really couldn't reach with the rotary tool. So for this one, I just used a hole saw and removed it as a plug. It's kind of cool that you can see inside through the walls and see exactly where to carve. I used my palm router with a roundover bit to smooth out the side holes. This just gave them a nice rounded over edge and made the holes really uniform. I rounded over the top edges as well. I'm going for a soft sea glass finish. So I sanded the exterior with my orbital sander using 80 grit sanding discs. I used sanding drums on the insides of the cavity. 80 grit gave it the frosted texture that I want, but you can see a little bit too much of the pattern from the orbital sander. So I got out my Ryobi polisher, which is really great for epoxy projects. And then I just used my polishing compound, the roughest one of the three, and polished the entire block. This just really evened out the surface, but still maintained that sea glass finish. The idea for this side table was sort of a three-dimensional transparent cave for plants. So I took some small flower pots, traced the outline, and then cut some of the interior holes big enough to where the pots would just fit right in. This project was an experiment that I've been wanting to try for a while, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. The water in the balloons acted as an effective heat sink so that I could pour deeper pores of the epoxy without it going exothermic. I was able to remove the balloons with a little help from mold release, and I was able to both reduce the amount of epoxy and create a really cool visual effect with the balloons. All right, slow motion balloon popping. I want to give a shout out to three awesome sponsors for this video, Ryobi, Total Boat, and Craig. What I love about working with these three brands is that they just trust my creative vision. It would have been really difficult to propose this project and explain what I'm doing, but they just let me go for it and they're happy that I just show their products in use. I think that's really great because I don't have to stop the action of the video to do an Adderall. So if you appreciate this, show them some love. There's links in the description. Check out some of our other epoxy videos, including the ones where we mix broken glass and total boat epoxy resin. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.